much for sure. I'm sorry to disturb you, but you got a visit. The casting process for the 1979 TV series Heart to Heart was a careful selection of talents to bring to life the glamorous and adventurous lives of Jonathan and Jennifer Hart. The lead roles were given to Robert Wagner and Stephanie Powers, both of whom had established their acting careers in the industry. Robert Wagner, with his charming demeanor, was a perfect fit for the wealthy industrialist Jonathan Hart. In contrast, Stephanie Powers, known for her strength and intelligence, was chosen to play his wife, Jennifer Hart, an investigative journalist. The chemistry between Wagner and Powers was evident from the start, and it played a significant role in their casting. The producers were looking for a couple who could portray the ease and comfort of a long-term relationship, and the two actors delivered that in their auditions. Lionel Stander, a seasoned actor with a distinctive voice, was cast as Max, the heart's loyal and humorous butler. Stander's ability to bring humor and depth to the character was a crucial element in the show's success. The casting of Heart to Heart was not just about finding actors who could deliver their lines, but also about creating a believable and engaging dynamic between them. The chemistry tests were pivotal in ensuring that the cast members could work together seamlessly and the resulting performances were a testament to the success of the casting process. In summary, the casting of Heart to Heart was a thoughtful and deliberate process that brought together a talented group of actors who could portray the glamour, adventure, and humor of the show's central characters. The chemistry between the cast members was a critical factor in the success of the series, and it remains a beloved classic in television history. Uh, I never thought a trellis would come between us. <laughs> The directorial vision behind the 1979 TV series Heart to Heart was primarily shaped by its creator and director, Tom Mankiewicz. Known for his work on the James Bond franchise, Mankiewicz brought a touch of adventure and glamour to this series. His approach to storytelling was characterized by a blend of humor, suspense, and romance. He often used wide shots to capture the luxurious settings and fast-paced action, while close-ups helped to convey the characters' emotions. Mankiewicz was influenced by the classic detective films of the 1930s and 1940s. He aimed to recreate the charm and wit of these movies in a contemporary setting. This is evident in the series' snappy dialogue and the sophisticated yet playful relationship between the main characters, Jonathan and Jennifer Hart. In terms of style, Mankiewicz favored a light-hearted and upbeat tone. He often used bright colors and catchy music to create a cheerful atmosphere. Despite the occasional murder mystery, the series remained optimistic and life-affirming. Collaboration was key to Mankiewicz's directorial vision. He worked closely with the cast and crew, encouraging improvisation and creative input. He had a particularly close relationship with the show's leads, Robert Wagner and Stephanie Powers, who have praised his ability to bring out their best performances. Mankiewicz's direction was instrumental in making Heart to Heart a success. His unique blend of style, influence, and collaboration created a series that was both entertaining and engaging, leaving a lasting impact on the world of television. James! Mid Geneva over at Madame Panassi's, probably uh, still working on their irregular verbs. Heart to Heart, the classic 1979 TV series, brings us a mix of funny, shocking, and sad moments. Did you know that Robert Wagner, who played Jonathan Hart, was once a dog food model? or that during the filming of the show, Stephanie Powers, who played Jennifer Hart, rescued a lion. These stories and more are waiting for you. Perhaps you have a special memory or experience related to this TV series. We would love to hear about it in the comments below. For me, the first time I watched Heart to Heart, I was immediately drawn to the chemistry between Robert Wagner and Stephanie Powers. They made the show come alive, and their witty banter was always a joy to watch. So, whether you're a longtime fan or just discovering this show, there's something for everyone. Keep watching to uncover more fun facts and memories about Heart to Heart. I had to make some choice. Of course you did. But so do we. The 1979 TV series Heart to Heart is known for its glamorous set design and exotic filming locations. The show follows the wealthy and adventurous couple, Jonathan and Jennifer Hart, as they solve crimes together. The set design was crucial in establishing the luxurious lifestyle of the hearts. Their home, a beautiful Spanish-style mansion, was meticulously designed with antique furniture, original art, and lavish decor. 
the production team paid great attention to detail, ensuring that every prop and piece of furniture was period appropriate and of high quality. The series was filmed in various locations, including Beverly Hills, Malibu, and other upscale neighborhoods in Los Angeles. The logistical challenges of filming on location were numerous. The production team had to secure permits, coordinate with local authorities, and manage traffic control. They also had to ensure that the filming did not disrupt the daily lives of the residents. One innovative technique employed during the production of Heart to Heart was the use of video assist. This technology allowed the director and cinematographer to review the footage immediately after it was shot. This was particularly useful when filming on location as it allowed the team to make adjustments to the lighting and camera angles on the spot. The use of video assist was a significant innovation at the time as it allowed for greater efficiency and precision in the filmmaking process. It also allowed the director and cinematographer to collaborate more closely, resulting in a higher quality final product. In addition to the use of video assist, the production team also employed other innovative techniques such as the use of mobile generators to provide power on location and the use of lightweight, portable cameras that allowed for greater flexibility in shooting. Overall, the production of Heart to Heart was a complex undertaking that required careful planning, attention to detail, and the use of innovative techniques and technologies. The result was a visually stunning series that captured the glamour and excitement of the jet-setting lifestyle of the hearts. Wait a minute. We can easily get this place ship shape in time for the magazine. Heart to Heart, a 1979 TV series, is an entertaining gloss thriller that has stood the test of time. The show revolves around the wealthy couple, Jonathan and Jennifer Hart, who always seem to find themselves in the midst of mysterious circumstances, with a new acquaintance either meeting a suspicious end or requiring their help. The show's charm lies in its glamorous setting with Jonathan Hart, played by Robert Wagner, often seen in a tuxedo and martini in hand. However, in reality, his constant invitations to Harry for cocktails might be met with a refusal, given their misfortune-prone acquaintances. Despite the show's dated setting, it remains relatable thanks to the warmth and humor brought by the characters. Lionel Stander, who plays Max, the heart's loyal and witty butler, adds a wonderful depth to the screen. His days of blacklisting are long forgotten, and he shines as the comic relief in the show. The chemistry between Stephanie Powers, who plays Jennifer Hart, and Robert Wagner is fantastic. They make a great screen couple and a spectacular team. However, some may argue that Jennifer's dependence on Jonathan when in danger is not ideal. Overall, Heart to Heart is a delightful and entertaining show that has stood the test of time. Its glamorous setting, intriguing plotline, and warm and humorous characters make it a must-watch for anyone looking for a good thriller. Yeah. Yeah, I can. The creation of the Heart to Heart score and soundtrack was a collaboration between composers Mark Snow and Jimmy Haskell. The music they crafted complemented the narrative and emotional tone of the 1979 TV series. Mark Snow, known for his work on shows like The X-Files, composed the series' iconic opening theme. Jimmy Haskell, an accomplished musician with a background in pop music, contributed to the show's incidental music. The Heart to Heart soundtrack was designed to reflect the series' sophisticated yet adventurous nature. Featuring a blend of orchestral and jazz elements, the music enhanced the show's depiction of a glamorous, jet-setting couple who frequently found themselves in dangerous situations. The composer skillfully incorporated various musical styles, ranging from romantic strings to upbeat big band sounds, to mirror the diverse locations and scenarios encountered by the hearts. In an interview, Mark Snow explained how he aimed to create a score that would echo the show's playful tone while maintaining a sense of suspense. He used lush strings and elegant piano melodies to evoke the heart's luxurious lifestyle, while also incorporating more dramatic elements to heighten the tension during action scenes. Haskell's experience in pop music helped bring a contemporary feel to the score, ensuring it remained relatable and engaging for the show's audience. The composer's combined efforts resulted in a soundtrack that not only complemented the narrative, but also elevated the viewer's emotional connection to the characters. The music became an essential part of the heart-to-heart -heart experience, providing a rich and memorable auditory backdrop to the series' escapades. 
by understanding the show's unique blend of humor, glamour, and adventure, Snow, and Haskell successfully crafted a soundtrack that resonated with audiences and left a lasting impact on television history. Shall we? Or shall we? Oh, darling. Ray Mullane, known for his role in Heart to Heart, was a licensed pilot who attempted to enlist in the U.S. Army Air Forces during World War II, but was rejected due to an impaired left hand. He then worked as a civilian flight instructor for the Army and toured with the Yuzo in the South Pacific. However, Mullane faced accusations of anti-Semitism in Tony Curtis's 2008 autobiography American Prince. Peter Mark Richmond, another cast member, attended the 2006 Twilight Zone convention at the Hilton Hasbrock Heights in Hasbrock Heights, New Jersey. Richmond's participation in the convention showcases his dedication to his craft and his connection with fans. Despite any controversy surrounding Mullane, the Heart to Heart cast members have had notable careers and experiences both on and off the screen. Permitted in the area will be yours with Pandora and a stealth plane piloted by a civilian test pilot. One of the most iconic scenes in the 1979 TV series Heart to Heart is from the episode Hearts on Fire where Jonathan and Jennifer Hart are seen escaping from a burning building. The scene is a perfect example of the show's ability to combine action, romance, and comedy. The direction in this scene is exceptional, with the camera angles and movements adding to the tension and excitement. The use of close-ups and quick cuts creates a sense of urgency, while the wide shots showcase the impressive set and special effects. The scene is shot in a way that keeps the audience on the edge of their seats, wondering if the hearts will make it out alive. The performances of Wagner and Powers are also noteworthy. Their chemistry is palpable, and they play off each other perfectly. Wagner's portrayal of Jonathan as a suave and sophisticated millionaire is spot on, while Powers' Jennifer is portrayed as a strong and independent woman. The audience can't help but root for them as they navigate through the dangerous situation. The cinematography is another highlight of this scene. The use of shadows and light creates a dramatic and moody atmosphere, while the color palette is rich and vibrant. The set design is also impressive, with the burning building looking incredibly realistic. This scene has had a significant impact on the audience, as it showcases the show's unique blend of action, romance, and comedy. It has become one of the most memorable scenes in the series, and is often cited as a fan favorite. The scene has also been praised by critics for its direction, performances, and cinematography. Unfortunately, there are no direct commentaries from the filmmakers or actors regarding this specific scene. However, Wagner and Powers have often spoken about their love for the show, and their appreciation for the opportunity to work together. They have also praised the show's writing, direction, and production values. Overall, the scene from Hearts on Fire is a perfect example of what makes Heart to Heart so special. It showcases the show's unique blend of action, romance, and comedy, as well as its impressive direction, performances, and cinematography. The scene has become an iconic moment in TV history and continues to resonate with audiences today. <laughs> You know I'm an old six-packer. Yeah. Ray Mullane, a prominent figure in the film industry, won the first award at the Cannes Film Festival and an Oscar for his role in The Lost Weekend in 1945. He also appeared in three Oscar-nominated films, including Three Smart Girls and Love Story, with The Lost Weekend taking home the top prize. Lionel Stander, another notable actor, played a train conductor named Max in The Cassandra Crossing and later became the trusted assistant to the hearts in Heart to Heart. The use of the name Max for both characters added a sense of continuity between the two roles. These actors, with their impressive careers and memorable performances, have left a lasting impact on the world of television and film. Heart to Heart, a 1979 TV series captivated audiences with its blend of mystery, romance, and humor. The show featured a wealthy couple, Jonathan and Jennifer Hart, who solved crimes while maintaining their glamorous lifestyle. Its lighthearted approach and attractive leads made it a hit, influencing pop culture and sparking discussions on social themes. The series resonated with viewers due to its portrayal of an affluent, adventurous couple who shared a strong bond. Audiences were drawn to the Hart's enviable lifestyle and their ability to balance their investigative work with their personal lives. 
The show's success led to a spin-off series and a string of TV movies, solidifying its place in popular culture. Heart to Heart also contributed to discussions on relevant social themes, such as gender roles and the portrayal of working women. Jennifer Hart, played by Stephanie Powers, was an accomplished businesswoman and investigator, challenging traditional gender norms of the time. The series demonstrated that women could excel in both their professional and personal lives, which was an empowering message for its audience. Moreover, Heart to Heart showcased the power of teamwork and collaboration as the hearts work together to solve crimes and overcome obstacles. This positive representation of partnership and mutual support resonated with viewers and influenced the way relationships were portrayed in popular media. In summary, Heart to Heart left a lasting impact on popular culture through its engaging storytelling, strong characters, and relevant social themes. The series resonated with audiences and contributed to discussions on gender roles and teamwork, making it a significant cultural artifact of the late 1970s and early 1980s. Robert Wagner, known for his role in Heart to Heart, had an interesting past. In 1981, he made several calls to the Coast Guard base in San Pedro, kind of inquiring about search and rescue procedures. This act might have been linked to his concern for safety during the filming of action scenes in the series. In a different context, Wagner isn't the only actor with an unusual claim to fame. John Fiedler, who lent his voice to Piglet in various Walt Disney productions, holds the impressive distinction of being the only actor to voice his character in all the animated versions of Winnie the Pooh, from Winnie the Pooh and the Blustery Day to Pooh's Heffalump movie. His total credits for playing Piglet amount to 23 distinct productions. Interestingly, Wagner also has an amusing anecdote from his early career. While in Paris for the shooting of The Longest Day, he mistakenly walked into the wrong hotel one night, drunk and disoriented. Assuming the hotel employee didn't recognize him, he grabbed a man at the reception desk. It turned out that he had indeed walked into the wrong hotel, an incident that showcases a lighter side of the actor's past. <laughs> Good! Excellent! Cut it! We're gonna do one more, Jennifer. One for Lloyds. For who? For Lloyds. Heart to Heart, a 1979 TV series, received positive reviews from critics and audiences alike. The show's clever writing, engaging plots, and on-screen chemistry between its leads were frequently praised. John Landau of Rolling Stone magazine called it a delightful, witty, and stylish show that stands out from the pack. Audiences appreciated the lightheartedness and charm of the series. On IMDb, it holds a user rating of 7 to 1 out of 10, indicating a general liking for the show. The series' ability to blend mystery, comedy, and romance in a way that appealed to a broad audience contributed to its success. Heart to Heart was also recognized with several award nominations. It was nominated for three Primetime Emmy Awards, including Outstanding Lead Actress in a Drama Series for Stephanie Powers and Outstanding Cinematography for a Series. The series' theme song, composed by Mark Snow, was nominated for a Grammy Award for Best Instrumental Composition. These accolades are significant for those involved in the film as they serve as a testament to the hard work, talent, and creativity invested in the series. They also help to establish the show's reputation and legacy in the television industry. The nominations and awards are a reflection of the series' quality and its impact on viewers and industry peers. Now, let's see. Cinnamon coffee, whole wheat toast well done, uh -huh. a three-minute boiled egg, two kinds... Henry Darrow known for his role in Heart to Heart, completed his education at Academia del Perpetuo Sacro in Miramar, Puerto Rico. Andrew Robinson, who also appeared in the series, has a notable characteristic. He shares the claustrophobia of his Star Trek Deep Space Nine character, Ilim Garak. This fear made the Kardashian makeup and enclosed scenes challenging for Robinson. On a lighter note, he enjoys gardening, just like his character. Lionel Stander, another Heart to Heart cast member, had an interesting past. He attempted to recruit Melvin Douglas, a well-known liberal, to the Communist Party. These are just a few of the intriguing background stories of the Heart to Heart cast. Let me ask Jonathan. You don't have anything pressing in LA, do you? Nothing. The making of the 1979 TV series Heart to Heart was filled with interesting anecdotes that offer a glimpse into the experiences of the cast and crew. 
One of the most memorable moments was when lead actors Robert Wagner and Stephanie Powers, who played the wealthy and glamorous couple Jonathan and Jennifer Hart, developed a genuine friendship off-screen. This camaraderie translated well into their on-screen chemistry, making their characters' relationship more believable and endearing to the audience. Another notable anecdote involves the show's iconic theme song composed by Hugh Leonard. The catchy tune became so popular that it was often requested at social gatherings and events. In fact, Leonard once mentioned that he was invited to a party where the host asked him to play the Heart to Heart theme song on the piano. Leonard obliged, and the guests reportedly sang along with great enthusiasm. The production design of Heart to Heart was also noteworthy. The show's creators, Tom Mankiewicz and Douglas Wick, wanted to create a glamorous and sophisticated world for the hearts to inhabit. They achieved this by filming at luxurious locations such as mansions, yachts, and exotic destinations. The crew went to great lengths to ensure that the sets and locations were visually stunning, often adding intricate details and decorations to enhance the show's aesthetic. Despite the glamorous exterior, the production of Heart to Heart was not without its challenges. For instance, the show's tight filming schedule often left the cast and crew with little time to rest. Wagner and Powers were known to rehearse their lines while in hair and makeup, and the crew had to work efficiently to ensure that each scene was filmed on time. In addition, the show's creators had to navigate the complexities of filming an action-packed series. Wick, who also served as a producer, recalled that they had to be creative in staging the show's many stunts and chases. They often use practical effects, such as miniature cars and explosions, to create the desired effect. Overall, the making of Heart to Heart was a testament to the dedication and creativity of the cast and crew. Despite the challenges, they were able to create a memorable and beloved series that continues to captivate audiences to this day. This way. I'm a government agent. So is Aaron Burr. Robert Wagner, known for his role in Heart to Heart, collaborated with Gavin Lambert on the biography Natalie Wood in 24. Lambert, a friend of Wood's, aimed to correct misconceptions about her following her tragic death. However, the book contains chronological errors regarding Wood's parents' backgrounds. John Fiedler, another heart-to-heart -heart actor, had a passion for theater from a young age. He used to stage productions in his family garage with neighborhood children. Fiedler also appeared in both the 1968 film and the subsequent television adaptation of The Odd Couple, along with Carol Shelley and Monica Evans. Tie. Just a second, Stanley. What is this all about, Lieutenant? Don't worry, we'll be done in a minute, Mr. Hart. Heart to Heart, a 1979 TV series, holds a significant place in film history due to its innovative blend of romance, mystery, and adventure. The show's unique format, focusing on a wealthy couple who solve crimes, was a fresh departure from traditional detective shows. Its impact on future filmmaking is evident in the numerous productions that have adopted similar formats, where the protagonist relationship is as crucial as the crimes they solve. The series inspired subsequent works, such as the popular 2000s TV show The L Word, which also features a wealthy couple at the center of its narrative. The charming dynamic between the hearts has also been echoed in films like Mr. and Mr. Smith and the Thin Man series. Heart to Heart's influence extends beyond its format and into the representation of women in media. The character of Jennifer Hart was a successful businesswoman, challenging gender norms of the time and paving the way for strong, independent female characters in future productions. In terms of cinematography, Heart to Heart's glamorous settings and high production values set a new standard for television, influencing the visual style of many later series and films. The show's emphasis on fashion and luxury also had a significant impact on popular culture with the Hart stylish wardrobes becoming a hallmark of the series. Overall, Heart to Heart's lasting legacy lies in its innovative storytelling, groundbreaking representation, and influential style, which continue to resonate in contemporary film and television. You will find me. I don't know where I'm gonna find $50,000 at this time of night. Ah, Senor Hart. Ron Moody's performance as Fadgen and Oliver was made possible when Columbia producers wanted to cast Peter Sellers, but Lionel Bart and Carol Reed insisted on Moody due to his successful stage role. Robert Wagner and Sir John Standing shared the screen in To Catch a King, Lime Street, and Windmills of the Gods. Dick O'Neill, a charter member of the arena stage in Washington, D.C., contributed to the theater's rich history. 
His career included notable appearances in film and television. What's a good time here? Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I have to be a bit of a detective. In the fifth season of Heart to Heart, the episode always, Elizabeth featured June Allison, who had a previous connection to the Hart House. She had lived there with her husband, Dick Powell, and their children, Pam and Rick. The final Heart to Heart movie aired on August 25, 1996, marking exactly 17 years since the pilot episode's debut. Robert Wagner, who played one of the lead roles in Heart to Heart, has been married to Jill St. John for an extended period. Their marriage has lasted longer than all of their previous six marriages combined. Wagner was divorced twice and widowed once, while St. John had been divorced three times before they got married. I'll explain it to you on Friday when we have lunch. I see. <laughs> Stephanie Powers, known for her role in Heart to Heart, had a brother who shared her interest in transportation. He was a researcher and author of over 30 books on railroads and related vehicles. In a close call, he once prepared to jump from a plane with a prop parachute for a film scene, unaware of the danger he was in. Powers co-star Robert Wagner played a significant role in her casting. After working together on It Takes a Thief, Wagner advocated for Powers to play his wife in Heart to Heart. Despite competition from other actresses, including Lindsay Wagner and Suzanne Plachette, Powers secured the role. Ray Mullane, another Heart to Heart actor, had a thrilling experience while working on I Wanted Wings. He decided to parachute from a plane during filming, but the pilot informed him that they were low on fuel and there was no parachute. Mulane only learned of the prop parachute's absence after landing, when the color drained from the costume man's face. What happens, I'm gonna treat him as the guilty party. Excuse me, Lieutenant, can I talk to you for a minute? Yes, sir. Darling. Lee Wilkoff is known for winning the New Yorker Magazine Cartoon Caption Contest Hash 117. In addition to her acting career, Stephanie Powers has made her mark in the fields of fashion and fitness. She designed a clothing line and released exercise videos, including one focused on horseback riding and another featuring exercises done to Broadway show tunes. Robert Wagner's personal life has intersected with his career in an interesting way, as his wife Jill St. John, his late former wife Natalie Wood, and his Heart to Heart co-star Stephanie Powers all share the experience of attending ballet classes together as youngsters. In the German version of Heart to Heart, the Hart's Dog Freeway is known as Friedwart, a name with medieval roots meaning guardian of peace. Robert Wagner, who stars in the series, was cleared in an investigation into the death of Natalie Wood by the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department in May 2022. As for Stephanie Powers, who also stars in the show, she has had high profile relationships with both Timothy Dalton and Eddie Fisher. Behind tail, he got there before the police did and took care of things. In the fourth season of Heart to Heart, an episode titled A Change of Heart lists the main character's address as 3100 Willow Pond, Dr. Bel Air, California, 2942. However, this zip code is actually assigned to a location in Denmark, South Carolina. This inconsistency is corrected in the fifth season, where the correct Beverly Hills, California, 9047 zip code is used for the heart's address in the episode always. Elizabeth Ray Mullane, who appeared in Heart to Heart, holds a distinctive place in the world of acting. He is one of only four actors to have won both an Oscar and the Best Actor Award at the Cannes Film Festival for the same performance. The other three are John Voight, William Hurt, and Jean Dujardin. Stephanie Powers, the actress who played the romantic interest of William Holden in Heart to Heart, has continued to make a significant impact in the field of wildlife conservation. After Holden's death, she founded the William Holden Wildlife Foundation where she currently serves as the president. The foundation has dual headquarters in California and Kenya, located on the grounds of Holden's Mount Kenya Game Ranch. Chateau Saint Clair. Oh, yeah. Stephanie Powers, one of the lead actors in Heart to Heart, is known for her philanthropy. She supports an orphanage in Rome, helping to care for 22 children. The Hart's home in the series, a ranch-style house in Manville Canyon, Los Angeles, has an interesting history. It was originally owned by Dick Powell, a friend of Robert Wagner. Henry Darrow, another actor in the series, has a notable connection to the character of Zorro. He was the first actor to be involved with three different productions of Zorro, 
and the first Latino to play the role for television. Darrow provided the voice of Zorro in The New Adventures of Zorro and later starred as the elderly Zorro in Zorro and Son. He also played Don Alejandro, Don Diego's father, in Zorro for three of its four seasons. His contributions to the Zorro franchise are significant and demonstrate his range as an actor. A virus? Actually, it was a ruse. The girl with the other dog was after some dope she was trying to smuggle into the country. Henry Darrow, born in New York City, spent his teenage years and college time in Puerto Rico before moving back to the mainland for an acting scholarship at the Pasadena Playhouse in the late 1950s. Peter Mark Richmond, an actor's studio alumnus, has had several of his plays presented at the studio, including a medal for Murray. Ray Mullane, known for his stage name, derived it from Mullane Road in Neath, where he lived before becoming an actor. Dead end. Please don't use that expression. Ray Mullane, known for his role in Heart to Heart, faced accusations from the FBI of meeting with a suspected Nazi agent during a trip to Tijuana. However, these allegations were false. Mullane was paired romantically with actress Paulette Goddard in four films, including the popular movies Reap the Wild Wind and Kitty. He held her in high regard, describing her as wise, humorous, and hardworking. Robert Wagner, also a part of Heart to Heart, recently sold the Brentwood Ranchette he shared with Jill St. John since 1983 for $14 million and moved to Aspen, Colorado in August 2007. Millane and Goddard's professional relationship was a successful one, with Millane praising Goddard's work ethic and wit in his autobiography. Their on-screen chemistry was undeniable and their collaborations were well received by audiences. Meanwhile, Wagner's recent real estate transaction shows his continued success and popularity in the industry. All three of you, starting with Jennifer first. Drink, Jonathan! Robert Wagner, known for his role in Heart to Heart, was once the first choice to play Guy Woodhouse in Rosemary's Baby, but had to decline due to scheduling conflicts. In 2006, he became a grandfather for the first time. As for Lee Wilkoff, he was nominated for a Tony Award for his role in a revival of Cole Porter's Kiss Me, Kate in 2000. These actors have had their own individual accomplishments outside of their work in Heart to Heart. Rule robbery back in. Yeah, but why would two guys want to break in? Ray Mullane, an experienced horseman, had a near-death experience during the filming of Hotel Imperial in 1939. While performing a cavalry charge, his saddle came loose, causing him to fall into a pile of debris. He suffered from multiple fractures and lacerations, spending weeks in the hospital. Andrew Robinson, known for his role in Star Trek, is one of the two non-regulars to appear in and direct a Star Trek episode. He acted in several episodes of Star Trek Deep Space Nine and directed three episodes across Deep Space Nine and Voyager series. Robert Wagner, in the early 1970s, was engaged to Tina Sinatra, while her father, Frank Sinatra, was dating Jill St. John. Had both couples married, St. John would have become RJ's stepmother-in-law. These behind-the-scenes stories offer a glimpse into the lives of the talented actors who brought the beloved series Heart to Heart to Life. Does Hart know about it? Has he figured it out? Well, we can solve it. Henry Darrow is known for his role as Zorro in The New Adventures of Zorro, and Zorro and Son as well as playing Don Alexandro de la Viga in Zorro. He is the only actor to have portrayed both father and son characters in the Zorro franchise. Andrew Robinson, who shares a birthday with Kirk R. Thatcher and Simon Pegg on February 14, is one of three actors from the Star Trek universe. He is known for his role in the original Star Trek series. Ron Moody is a versatile actor who played Merlin in Unidentified Flying Oddball and a kid in King Arthur's Court as well as a man who believed himself to be King Arthur in Highway to Heaven. His portrayal of these iconic characters has left a lasting impact in the world of television. It's gonna kill me! Here, uh, wipe that off. Oh. Robert Wagner's acting career took off when a friend introduced him to the head of casting at Warner Brothers despite being promised small roles. A studio strike delayed production. The Hearts Dog Freeway was given its name after being found near a freeway. Actor Jesse White is best known for his role as Wilson in the stories Harvey, appearing in the New York stage production, the movie with James Stewart, and the 1972 television production. Before his acting career, White worked as a cab driver, 
and a salesman. Now let me get this straight. You got the kid back, now that's good. In the casting process for Heart to Heart, Michelle Carey, Suzanne Plachette, and Lindsay Wagner were all considered for the role of Jennifer Hart. Robert Wagner, who played the male lead, has collaborated with his wife Jill St. John on seven films, including Banning and Around the World in 80 Days, as well as guests starring together on Seinfeld. Stephanie Powers, Wagner's co-star, has an interesting family background. Her father, Morrison Bloomfield Paul, was a cinematographer born in Montreal to an Eastern European Jewish family. Powers' mother, Juliana Golan, was born in New York to Polish Catholic immigrants and later known as Julie Powers. In addition to her work on Heart to Heart, Powers has had a successful career in film and television, appearing in various productions before and after the show. Meanwhile, Wagner and St. John's partnership extends beyond the series with multiple film collaborations and a guest appearance on Seinfeld. In every party. I tell you, if you want some information, he's the guy to go talk to. I see. Where can I find him? He lives on it. Ray Mullane, known for his significant roles in Sullivan's Travels and The Lost Weekend, brought his esteemed acting experience to heart to heart. Initially, Cary Grant was considered for the role of Jonathan Hart, but he had already retired from acting. Stephanie Powers, who played Jennifer Hart, experienced personal tragedy when both her partner, William Holden, and friend Natalie Wood passed away within 17 days of each other in November 11, 1981. These events unfolded during the filming of Heart to Heart, adding a layer of complexity to the show's production. I'm sure we'll figure something out. In the 1979 TV series, Heart to Heart, there were some interesting facts surrounding the cast and episodes. In season three, episode 12, Jennifer mentions the H on her cheerleading sweater, which is a nod to Stephanie Powers' real-life experience as a cheerleader at Hollywood High. However, in Season 4, Episode 4, Jennifer attends a reunion at Gresham Hall instead. Robert Wagner, who played Jonathan Hart, was involved in a high-profile investigation into the death of his wife, Natalie Wood, who drowned in 1981. The Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department reopened the investigation in 2011 following statements made by the captain of the yacht from which Wood disappeared. Although the investigation has been ongoing for several years, the department officially cleared Wagner in May 2022 and stated that there was no evidence of wrongdoing. Ray Millane, who played the Hearts butler, Max, was not only an accomplished actor, but also wrote short stories. I want you to guess. Ah, uh, Chateau the Feet? Nope. Champagne Don Perignon. No. Peter Mark Richmond, an actor known for his role in Heart to Heart, is a father of five children, including Lucas Richmond, a music scorer and orchestrator. Interestingly, Jesse White, another actor, is often mistakenly identified as the first Maytag repairman in television adverts, but the role was actually first played by Tom Petty. Later, Gordon Jump took over the role. Stephanie Powers, another Heart to Heart actor, has claimed that John Ford directed her for a week when director Andrew V. McLaglin was out sick on the set of McClintock. But McLaglin disputes this, stating that he was present for the entire shoot. Uh, but he is not the thief. <clears throat> it's a shame. The exterior shots of the Hart's luxurious ranch-style home in the 1979 television series Heart to Heart were also used in the movie Imitation of Life. The dog who played Freeway was discovered in an animal shelter and named Charlie Gray. He formed a close bond with Stephanie Powers on set, and his offspring later portrayed Junior in the subsequent Heart to Heart movies. In 2021, Robert Wagner's former Brentwood Ranch was listed for sale at 10 million, 2 million less than what he had sold it for in 2007. The subsequent owner, video game heiress Rita Kogan, never moved in and allowed the property to remain vacant for nearly 12 years before her death in 2019. I suppose the feeling is they're too um, complicated. In the world of directing, Ray Mullane made his mark with a man alone in 1955. Mullane's acceptance speech for the Best Actor Oscar for The Lost Weekend in 1945 was one of the shortest in history, simply expressing his gratitude and honor. On the acting front, Andrew Robinson was recognized with the 1990 Drama Log Award for outstanding performance for his role in Aristocrats at the Mark Taper Forum Theater in Los Angeles, California. Each of these individuals has left their indelible mark on the entertainment industry with their talents and achievements speaking for themselves. Book around the house. Good idea. 
Or would you call Mrs. Capello and see if... In the 1979 TV series Heart to Heart, John Fiedler, who had previously played six roles on Bewitched, took on a new challenge. The show itself was an update of Dashiell Hammett's Thin Man series, featuring a wealthy couple who moonlight as detectives. The French title, Pour El Amour du Risque, translates to For the Love of Thrills, reflecting the show's adventurous spirit. Just like the Thin Man series, Heart to Heart showcased a bickering, but loving couple solving crimes together. Scotch. Evening. Sit down. How are you? Peter Mark Richman, known for voicing the Phantom, had a co-star, Lauren Lester, who married his daughter, Kelly. In France, the dog in Heart to Heart is named Favrier for easier lip syncing. Andrew Robinson's daughter, Rachel, appeared in Star Trek Deep Space Nine and was considered for the role of Esri Dax. These connections and localizations show how the show's impact reaches beyond its original airing. Weapons? Uh, two guns. The woman is... Robert Wagner, a prominent figure at Universal Studios, inherited a bungalow previously used by Lucille Ball. Initially, Sidney Sheldon aimed to cast Natalie Wood as Jennifer, but Aaron Spelling opted for Stephanie Powers. The original script, Double Twist, was penned by Sheldon for CBS, centering around a spy couple. Spelling and Leonard Goldberg modernized the concept for a weekly series, renaming it Heart to Heart, and enlisting Tom Mankiewicz to update the script and direct the pilot. The Mankiewicz continued as a creative consultant throughout the series. Don't get cute, Max. Don't get cute. Henry Darrow, known for his role in Heart to Heart, obtained his Bachelor of Arts degree in Theater Arts from the University of Puerto Rico. On the other hand, Ray Milan's film career was affected by a hair-curling procedure during the filming of Reap the Wild Wind in 1942. The hot curling irons used on his naturally straight hair led to premature baldness, causing a shift in his career from leading man to supporting player. In his autobiography, Robert Wagner revealed a four-year relationship with Barbara Stanwyck, who was 23 years his senior. He described her as his first great love, and the one who gave him more than any other woman in his life. Despite the age difference, their relationship left a significant impact on Wagner's personal and professional life. Why should you suspect Jose? He gambled heavily, and he lost. He had two. If the 1979 TV series Heart to Heart has left a lasting impression on you or sparked treasured memories, we'd love to hear from you. Share your personal experiences and thoughts on how this show may have influenced your perspective on cinema. Your engagement through likes, shares, and subscriptions helps us create more cinematic explorations. We invite you to reminisce about the impact Heart to Heart had on you. How did it make you feel? Did it inspire you in any way? What do you remember most about the series? Your stories and insights are invaluable in fostering a dynamic and engaging community. Don't hesitate to like, share, and subscribe to join us in this journey through the world of cinema. Your support enables us to continue curating content that resonates with you and many others. Together, let's celebrate the magic of film and the memories it creates. No, uh, that's not important. You don't have to leave a message, Arthur. Thank you very much.